Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing good. Hope you all enjoyed the 20th anniversary of Monster Hunter. That was really cool. It was like a, it was like a little two-day holiday that was for Monster Hunter. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys during that. And kind of in inspiration of that whole event, I got a couple of ideas and a couple of updates. We're also just right off the bat of two pretty large projects dropping with the Carapacian highlight and the 20th anniversary music video. Uh, thank you guys very much by the way for the feedback on those two if you haven't checked them out please do i worked really hard on those projects very proud of them so yeah i wanted to come on here make a couple of announcements voice a couple of ideas a couple of new things have kind of sprung up into my mind and there's also some stuff going forward with the the channel and the community that i wanted to talk about as we're going into 2024, things are ramping up and I'm getting, you know, more of my footing, getting more comfortable, getting to know you guys better, getting more ingratiated in doing YouTube and content creation full time. So we're really going to be hitting the ground running this year. First order of business, right off the bat, a couple of upcoming videos that we're going to be doing. First and foremost, I was very intrigued by some of the stuff in the developer interviews that came off of the 20th anniversary. I would love to go through a couple of those things, talk a little bit about those interviews, some of the really cool little bits and tidbits and details that came out of the interviews, that came out of the poll and all that stuff. Some of the stuff that came out of the special that just seemed like worth talking about, worth speculating about, worth having fun about, that kind of stuff. Just kind of pick things over a little bit. Additionally, I'm going to be doing something kind of special and kind of unique. So uh, if you know anything about my Patreon, what I do for people who are at the $5 tier and above is I create these behind the scenes videos for some of the larger, more in-depth projects that I do. And I have a couple of those in the pipeline for the Patreon specifically. So for you guys who are patrons, you guys are gonna be getting one for the Carapacians, you guys are gonna be getting one for the uh, Lance description ones, cause a bit of uh, editing went into that. And you guys are gonna be getting one for the musical remixes that are on the second channel, Volcanic Overflow. So you're gonna be getting a bunch of those. And one, you're getting those because a good chunk of editing went into them, wanna talk about them, cool little side projects, and some of them are on the shorter end, so they don't have to be super duper long. And number two, you're getting a bunch of those because one of the behind the scenes videos is going to be coming to YouTube for free, kind of like as a bit of an advertisement for the Patreon and and also kind of like in the, uh, the spirit of the 20th anniversary. So for free on YouTube, probably the only one of its kind, unless there's other special circumstances, the behind the scenes for the 20th anniversary music video celebration is going to be coming to YouTube for everybody to check out and take a look at. Everybody can get a look at the process and everybody can, you know, see what goes down and what the Patreon has to offer a little bit more regularly. There's some other stuff that needs to be taken care of on Patreon as well. I'll be getting to all that. Don't worry, I'll be fulfilling all of that stuff. And in the third video that's going to be coming up, and this is the last video I'm going to announce for right now, is going to be a sequel to that Lance video I made a while back that people seem to really like. I'm going to be talking about a different weapon, highlighting a different weapon, and why I really like it. Not going to say which one yet, but that is coming up. That's going to be the third video to be released coming up after this. So those that is the immediate video schedule. Uh, there's definitely a bunch more in the pipeline. I have the next couple of months planned out, but that's what I'm going to announce today. Next order of business, a couple of updates just kind of community wise with one particularly big one. First and foremost, I have been having a blast with streaming. I'm going to be doing it a little bit more. I've done four so far. I like doing it by myself. I like doing it with the guys. You guys seem to really like doing it. It's it's a blast and a half, a ton of fun to do. So I think the volume of streaming is going to pick up. And a couple of reasons behind that. One, it's fun. Two, it's just it's really like good for the channel. Three, we have more stuff to do with the guys, you know, with Austin playing through World for the first time. A lot of the guys and I are really into Hell Divers right now, which is a great co-op game, which would be really fun to stream. And just other stuff, other ideas will come up as they go. And another big reason for streaming is since I make a lot of long form content, you know, editing takes a while, especially because I try to put a good chunk of edit into long form content. So things can take a while in the pipeline and streaming would be a really good way to just keep the channel in the algorithm, keep content flowing and make it so that with YouTube's desire to have eyes on you, I can continue to make stuff 
and, you know, not be as punished for the gaps in my release schedule. Uh, so I think strategically streaming is going to be a lot of fun. I love doing it. I love it's like it's like hanging out with 60 friends. It's a lot of fun. I love doing it. So expect the rate of streaming to go up in terms of a community discord. I'm going to go back to working on it. It does exist. There is a server that exists. I'm not happy with it yet. It is lacking in features at the moment. I want to keep going through other community discords that I'm in, seeing what features that they have, making sure that you guys have the proper amount of stuff. And, you know, I, I um, admittedly, I held back a little bit on making it just because you hear the, the story here and there about a discord server that just gets degenerate and shitty but i i feel like so far i've done a good enough job with you guys and with cultivating community here that you guys are first of all you're all adults um, and second of all you seem like pretty well-minded people so i'm not too nervous about you specifically but i i do reserve the right to pull the plug on things if things get uh if things get bad because i've heard stories i've heard stories about communities that go wrong um so I, i'll give you guys a chance Third big community thing, and this is going to be the big announcement of this video, is so with the 20th anniversary popularity poll, it was a lot of fun, right? One thing that just kind of like bums me out about the 20th anniversary poll is it's everyone can only vote once, right? So, um, you know, you look, you go, you look back at the cycle of monsters that go through and a lot of really good ones wind up getting very low because there's a lot of really cool monsters that just aren't super popular, right? It's fine. It's not like a flawed system. It's a popularity poll. That's how they work, right? Totally fine. A lot of fun to do. I want to do something effectively similar, but with a lot more data and with a lot more ability for kind of the less popular monsters to really kind of get their due. So what we're going to be doing, and I kind of took this idea from a uh, Star Wars YouTuber by the name of Thor Skywalker, who did a series of videos called Battle of the Heroes and Villains. He put out a community poll uh, and have you rate Star Wars characters, and then he'd do a video and he'd put the averages of the poll up on a list and uh, list off the characters. We're going to be doing effectively the same thing for all of the canonical mainline first, second, third, fourth, and fifth gen Monster Hunter monsters. Only instead of doing one video per monster, because that'd be impossible, <laughs> that's 229 entries. What I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be spending probably a couple of hours pre-setting this up, is every single day, from now until what looks to be October, we're going to be doing community polls for all the mainline monsters. One to five stars. We're going to rank them all up. And what we're going to do once that poll is, once all of those polls are done, is we're going to average all those numbers up. We're going to get a whole nice juicy chunk of data and we're going to put them all in a giant list for a huge project that's going to come out probably in October or November of this year. Uh, so it's going to be like a year long project because the polls and the data collecting is going to take that long. I think that's going to be super cool. And this way, you know, on a one to five star thing, everybody's going to be able to give their opinion on every single one of the major monsters. Uh, now, I'm kind of known for doing the frontier and the online and the explore stuff. The reason we're not going to include them is a bloat and B, let's be honest, 90% of my fan base has not experienced anything out of Frontier or Online or Explore, right? So there's a lot less that's like actually really valuable experience there. Core 229 that we have right now, uh, we're going to be running a whole batch of pulls off of those guys. We're going to see what the community thinks about all of them. We're going to put them all together. We're going to put them on a list and we're going to do a massive project about them uh, towards the end of this year. So be very, very excited for the end of this year, because not only are we doing that, we're going to be doing Merry Huntmas again, because that's going to be an annual project. And we're going to be doing another anniversary video like the online video was in December or uh, in January. Rather, end of this year is going to be stuffed. So be very excited for that. Other stuff. This isn't so much an announcement. We've talked about this before. Um, the Monster Hunter Explore video is still scheduled for May. So that's going to be in about a month and a half 
ish. More of monster highlights are in the pipeline. I already confirmed that Ian Garuga is going to be sometime in the summer. There's going to be another one before him. And we're going to try and get a couple more in this year, especially because Explore is going to be winding down. So I need some more stuff that'll be taking up for long form content. I just got to like pick and choose which monsters I want to do. I think the, the monster highlight videos are going to start to become a little bit more of this channel's bread and butter. So that's kind of the direction that we're going for the community, for videos, for all that kind of stuff. That's kind of kind of be the shift. So more streaming, more monster highlights, giant monster opinion poll, Discord server is going to be worked on. Another weapon video is coming out. Stuff about the 20th anniversary is going to be coming out. Uh, behind the scenes is going to be coming out. More behind the scenes is going to be coming out on the Patreon for you guys as kind of compensation for the fact that one of your things that would have been exclusive is going to be for free on the main platform. A, a mountain of stuff for you guys is going to be coming out. Of course, uh, there's the second channel, uh, Volcanic Overflow, which has been doing the music remixes. Uh, there's going to be more coming to that. There's going to be edited gameplay of me and the guys. There's going to be stream highlights of me and the guys. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff. This is a hefty job, man. <laughs> but I'm having a lot of fun. And so are you guys. Um... So yeah, keep the word, uh, get the word out, spread stuff around, uh, likes and comments and all that stuff. Uh, get the channel blowing up, and the more the more you promote the channel, the bigger we get. Uh, the better that big community project's gonna get. Yeah, no, I get excited. I'm I'm gonna go nuts for this year. And when Wilds comes out in 2025, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be good. But remember, we have a goal of 20,000 subscribers by January 10th of 2025. We're gonna see what the stretch goal is if we can pass that. All right. So that is going to be everything for right now. I got to get to work on everything I just talked about. Otherwise, it ain't going to get made. So you guys have a lovely rest of your day. We're going to talk pretty soon. This has been CR Volcanic or Connor. I will see you around. Shout out to all the patrons and special shout out to Nihilist Chimerax, Dad Boy Doin' Da Ding, Sir Newt Newt, Peaberry, Stefan Kalnin, Shaggy Grizzly, and Pico Plush. Thank you very much.